Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It is day eight. And we're in March. And it's raining. So let's just uh, head outside, give the dog some food, as always. And see what we need to do today. So because it's March, we're going to have a quick check on the calendar. We can see there's a lot available to start planting today. And so it would be good for us to kind of get ready for this. And I think in order to do that, we need to get another field. So maybe out the back, we can get our field ready. We also need to sort out our trailer that we talked about. We want to get our Arctic trailer ready for our kind of um, flower business that we have going. We need to sort our water out here because that's running low. So we'll go ahead and we'll refill that. And whilst that's working, we'll just move some of these boxes out of the way. So we can just move this truck out of the way. We've got to pick up those sticks. We've got to plough that field. There's lots and lots still to do. Let's get started. So flowers first. Always a good way to start the day. Make some money. We'll just get these out of the way for now. And it's the Arctic that we want to get. And the trailer. That's really going to be a, a bonus for us to be able to make this a lot easier. Also, want to start thinking about how we're going to expand this farm and the surrounding area. Definitely going to need a landscaping tool for that. Also, as we continue to progress and build and grow, get the production chains up and running, once they're all finished, we can start looking at maybe some simple mods in game. What we can do with that. But for now, let's stick with the basics. Right, let's get these loaded up. Gonna miss this trailer, it's been really good. I think this has been one of the easiest ones to load up so far. I think now what we're going to do, because we're going to have additional income sources, we're going to start looking at how we can just do this every few days with an Arctic, not needing to do these daily trips for the flower shop. Also, I have no idea where we parked our tractor. I do remember we set up yesterday the facilities over there. In fact, we should probably check out and see how they're doing first thing this morning. Let's look at our production chains. So we've still got wood. That's good in the sawmill. Now we've got our flowers. Our flowers are all working. That's great. Uh, we've got... Wow. Okay, we've got loads of planks in here. Which means we need to sort our furniture out because that is... Um, let's kind of have a quick look over there. I've got a feeling we're going to have some furniture to sell. Hmm. No, we do not. So this is very, very slow to create. It is set to store the furniture, but it's not... It's not a quick process. Cycles per month, 216. Huh. I kind of feel like it should be quicker than this. We'll see how that goes today. We'll keep an eye on it, but that's um, definitely not going as quick as I thought it was going. thinking about how much it's going to cost us for that arctic trailer and that truck as well. I really want to get the truck to go with it. It's going to make life a lot easier. We don't need the truck for now. We could just use the tractor if it's possible. Uh, we're also going to have a look at the deals and see what's on special offer today. 
Okay, so there is a JCB there, but we don't really need it. So we can leave that. Not really much here. Okay, so we're going to look at... Uh, we don't want any of those. This one we want, which is 29.5. 29, 29.5 for that, and then we're going to want the... Where was it? It wasn't in dollies. I think it was in... Would it be in cars? No. Hmm. Might be a miss of no, where was it? It would be in trucks. That would make sense. Hmm. Okay, so the man truck, which is the one I want to go for. 130,000. So mm -hmm. almost enough. Let's um Grab the second load here. We're not going to go much higher than two for this. We will stack up the pickup as well. The rest we'll put into the new Arctic that we're going to buy. So now we've got the carpentry. That's done. That whole production chain is done. Nothing really else to do there on that one at the moment. We've got the planks going into the, the wood going into the planks and the planks going into the carpentry, so that's complete. We need to look at our next production chain. Like what do we want to build next? And also we need to start thinking about how that's gonna look in terms of we don't just want to put random buildings down in random places, we want to actually start building stuff. Like properly. Which means we need to set the land out. Once the land's set out, we then need to uh, prep the land, get it all ready, and then put the buildings down. And that's going to take a little bit more planning. One thing I really wish they would do, um, that I think's a shame they don't have, is when you place a building, there should be kind of like an... Oh, I don't know what's going on with that. There should be kind of like an outline. Just fallen over for some random reason. And I don't know why. Let's, um, let's just chuck it on top. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Okay, we're just going to leave that one. Can't even grab it. So. Strange. Yeah, we'll just take those as they are. Should be enough for us to get our new truck. So let's head up to the top. See, I wish I wish there was an area where when you placed a building it told you the total outline of that area. It showed you like a square grid. That would be really, really good. And then you can place the building accordingly. But we're gonna play about that today. We're gonna do a bit more work on the farm customization and landscaping. And then we're also going to look at buying additional land. We need to buy another square of land, so that's going to be on our, our radar as well. I think we need to look at setting up a kind of commercial district. We need to set up more fields. Oh, there's our tractor we lifted up here. That makes sense. Oh, we put a... Uh, that makes a lot of sense. There was a ratchet on it. Still not really able to, to pick that up. It's a bit strange. Huh. This is truly wedged in there. Okay. Maybe we can just spin the car around really quickly and get rid of that. That does not want to come out. Okay, well. Uh, that is what it is. We can now get the trailer though. We've got the money for it. So we can go to the shop.
And now we have enough to buy this. We just need to decide what design do we want. We go for. I did say we go for pink, but I don't, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I've got it in me. I don't like purple. Blue could be quite nice. Maybe not that blue. Slightly darker blue, maybe. Or we could go for something quite bright. Gonna match the truck though. Red's a little bit crazy. Black, black kind of works. I quite like black to be honest. In fact, black, I think it works well. Black and red goes really well. Quite like that. Maybe we should go for black and red. Well, that's a little bit extra money now. But it looks pretty cool. I like it. Black and red works. We'll go for that. That's our design. We're going to buy it. We can always change it later if we want to. Alright, so the car is glitched. Not really much I can do about that at the moment. Ah, do you know what? It is what it is. And I think we're going to sell this now. I don't think we're going to we're going to need this anymore. And it's it's an old car. We can definitely buy a new version of it. The trailer's been fantastic. Love the trailer. Um, I'll keep it for now, but the car I think is going to have to go. But the trailer, the trailer can still come in quite handy. Might, might just leave that up here for now. Just park it up. And then... Once we get a new car, which we will get, we will pick up a brand new car. And when we do that, the trailer will be here ready. We'll just kind of park that up there for now. I didn't really want to get rid of this just yet, but given the fact that the car's playing up as well. Yep, that can go. Let's go to our garage, check out our cars, and I'm going to get 780 for it, but here we go. At least now we can, huh. there we go, we can sort of pad it out. And let's just chuck that on there to sell it. Perfect. Pick up our new trailer. And this is here with a dolly, which is perfect. Although we are going to need to buy another dolly. Oh really? Is that not going to... Okay. I thought that was on there, but apparently not. Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. Alright, our brand new trailer. So we can open up the sides. We just need to press U, I believe it is. Curtain left back. What is what's the left back? Oh, okay. Now we can close it again. So that's left front. Okay, so then that puts it in the back. That makes sense. So we can either put the curtain to the back, to the front, left, right. Okay, nice. That works. So we've got our trailer. We can now store up all of our pallets. And we can actually mix and match this. We can bring the pallets up from the carpentry. Oh, we've got planks that are going across from the sawmill, so we don't have to pick anything up from there, but we will have to pick up the planks from the carpentry, uh, from the furniture from the carpentry, so that's one we'll have to deal with. And now we just need to save up for our... Well, the next thing we want to purchase is definitely that truck, that's 130,000, so... 
we'll work towards that. And we want to get that field ploughed as well. So in order to get the field ploughed, we don't need to buy a plough. We could use this, but I do want to buy one. It'll make life a lot easier. Let's just do a little loop around here. Oh, we'll just grab this one. Look at that, perfect. Nice and easy. And every couple of days now we can go and sell this. That's going to give us that additional uh, money that we wanted. But it doesn't become our primary focus anymore, which is also nice. Focus on other areas, because we don't want, just want this game to be about flowers. Don't get me wrong, they're nice. But we want to look at what else we can do in the game. So. I think animals, animals are something we're going to get into very shortly. And then from there, I think we need to get into the textile business. I also want to look at getting into the gold, because that looked like it was going to be profitable as well. And uh, I think as we go along, we'll figure out a way to make this a lot easier. But for now, yeah, that kind of works. Kind of works quite well. I'm trying to think where the kind of trailer can live for now. Also, I need to make sure we've got enough room to get that trailer down here. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but we should be okay. Yeah, I think that can kind of just live here for now. So we can detach this now, um, but if we're going to do that, we want to detach it from the... I kind of want to keep the dolly on us. Okay, so that can stay there to load up, that's fine. And now we need to sort these logs out. I don't think there's any point in selling these logs because we're not going to get that much money for them, but also, I don't think we really need them because our production chains are pretty full. Maybe we could do with the extra money at the moment. So we could put some more wood in here, fill that up. I was expecting this to push out both, like two lots. I don't know if it is or not, maybe... Hmm. I was expecting it to push out both. There's enough water in there now, so that's good. This could do with some more wood, to be honest. But we want to let that run down. That is being distributed, so that's fine. That's got loads of planks in there now. So I guess... I guess I just wonder why that's so slow to... To create. But, uh, okay, here's what it is, it's fine. Let's... Let's look at what we need for our... So we need a plough, that's going to be our next thing we need to buy. Uh, we did mention we wanted a decent plough, and the, the top range plough is... It's going to be 75,000, so that's, that's going to be our next purchase. That's 75,000 there. I think in order to do that, we need to make some more money. So, in terms of income sources at the moment, we need to think about what we're going to do to make money. I was really, really hoping. I'm a little bit surprised, actually, but I was really, really hoping we'd have some furniture to sell. Because the other thing as well is if this is going to be pushing out pallets, 1,000 litre pallets, and we look at what they're, they're worth. I think furniture at the moment, uh, in the shop, if we were to sell furniture, 
3,200. Hmm. I mean, we could wait until July. It's going to sell for 4,000, but still. 4,000 per pallet? That should be pushing it out a lot quicker than it currently is. Is it? It's activated. It's running. It's doing its job. It's... Hmm. I mean, these are doing 144 cycles per month. This should be doing 216 plus 240, I think. Strange. We'll leave it today and we'll see. I was totally expecting that to be full up, to be honest, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Let's do some more wood. I want to get some some more wood into the trailer and I think we're just going to go and sell the wood. Anything we can do to get additional money in right now is going to be a bonus, so... So it's going to be good to clear this space out. Later on what we're going to do is set up a place where we can grow trees. Once we do that we'll be able to sell them. Get it over that bit there, and in. I'm actually sure how much... 268, I mean I could... I could just chop the end up on that and quite literally just pick up and throw it in. Oh, I can try to at least. So this one, I mean, it just doesn't weigh enough. It's not. That there. I'm not too bothered about these little sticks. The struggle to get them in though will be a. Uh, So that's ratchet in, that'll be okay. A little bit here. Alright, I think this one was probably a little bit too big. Yep, 225. That's fine, I can just chop the end of that. And now that'll fit in. Grass is going to start growing as well now, which means we'll be able to cut the grass again soon, which is good. Alright. Again, this one just... I left it just a little bit too much. There we go, perfect. I'll just leave that on there because, you know... Just sit there out of the way. Hey, it works. It doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to be on there. Now that one will take in a minute, and then this one I can pick up, and then nice. Another section cleared.
So I kind of want to save up, get that new plot of land as well. I feel like we need, uh, especially for the end of this season, we need some more land so we can make some additional money through cutting grass and things like that. Put this on from the other side. I, mean, I think we can probably take this to, to sell it then. I think there's enough in there now. Let's just sort these ratchets out. And we're good to go. We'll take this, we'll sell it. I think that there's enough wood everywhere else for now. No, it's not going to give us a, a great amount. But that's okay. We'll do this. Once this is done, we will then... And also, I was I was wondering before, when I look on here... In fact, let me uh, just set this up on cruise control so it keeps going in the right direction. I was wondering before, when I looked on here... If I was to go to sell, and I want to sell something like wood, for example. It says I can sell wood at the sawmill. Like it says they buy wood. Now, just before I head up to the shop, I have not actually seen... That you can sell wood, but the wood goes into production. But can you actually sell the wood? Is there a place, maybe I missed this before, maybe there's a place where you can sell the wood and actually get the cash for it, as opposed to putting it into the production line. Now, I don't know this. But I do want to check it out quickly. Just before we head out, we'll go and have a quick look, see if we can do that. Crops are going to be finished growing soon, which would be nice. I'll try and go around this way. Mindful of that. Now we know we've got this area here. Now I'm assuming that this area here is for wood chips. You can't do anything here. Because this looks like it's to load. Now, there's no other... See, that to me looks like it's... Yeah, that's a loading sign, so that's where we'll load. There's a tipping sign. That's it. This is going to be the sell wood. Yeah, so this is where you would sell the wood, but it sells it into here. I don't believe there's any other area that we can come to sell that wood. So, I guess my question is, how do we sell the wood? Because it says we can make money through selling the wood. If I didn't want to create planks, if I just wanted to sell wood, would there be a way to do it? Because right now, here, yeah, if I if I do this and put this here, 
That to me, I believe, doesn't sell the wood, it just puts it into here. So how would I get the money for it? Is there a way? Because this... This won't sell. This just puts it into the building storage. This is the output. Incoming materials. There's no way that I'm aware of to sell that. I actually don't know. I don't know how that would work or what that would look like, but anyway. It's just interesting that when you look on the... When, when you look on the market conditions, it does tell you that it, it is available to sell and it sells for a better price than if we were to take it up here, but... Unless it's a bug, I don't know, it's weird, it's strange. I always believed you could sell wood at a sawmill. But then, the sawmill... Hmm, hold on, because the sawmill... But it must be a selling point. It must be a selling point, right? Let's have a look. Construction. It's, it says product. So here, it is in the production chain. Is there a sawmill for a selling point as well? You see, there's not. So I'm assuming that in the factory, the sawmill is. But it's in production, so... Oh, oh, I just hit a tree. My bad. Okay. Well, we'll leave that there. Maybe that's just a bug. Ah, the rain's cleared up. That's nice. There's a bit of land there as well. It looks like we can... We do something with that in the future. So, wood does not automatically sell when other things do. It's also interesting. That's good though, 13,000 for that. Not bad. If we do a couple of runs like that, we'll make enough money to be able to buy a new truck. Perfect. So we definitely need to get more fields up. That's going to be important for us. We want to get the truck, we want to get the fields up, and we want to buy some more land. So still quite a lot we need to do. Getting into the season now, March, the grass is going to start growing again, so buying more land does make sense, but if we buy more land, we're also going to want to buy the windrower. We don't need to buy the baler now, because we have that. We do need to buy the bigger lawnmower. The truck isn't going to generate us any income, it's just going to make life a bit more easier, so the truck isn't a priority right now, it'll be nice to have, but we can just use the tractor for now, so that's fine. So in terms of priorities, I think the first priority has to be buying more land. I think the first priority has to be buying more land so that we can make more money. Oh, there's still so much here. I think a lot of these are just tiny small, right? So what I might do for now, rather than wasting my time, I might just stack all of these up. 
can take all of these later. Just get them out of the way for now. Okay, I know I saw another one. 200 might fly away, okay. It's better quality wood, but it's still... Still tiny, so... This just looks like really knackered, cheap, dead wood. 355... Yeah, see, so yeah, I'm not. I'm not too bothered about these little bits. Perfect, 193, that's great. Quite cool if we could download like a measuring tape that would tell us uh, tell us the weight after we cut it. That would be pretty cool. Uh, for now, it's down to skill. Something I'm lacking in the tree cutting department. So Put one time. Nice. Grab that one out. Cleans up a lot of this straight away because most of the mess here is just these little ones that I don't need to worry about too much. The ones that are kind of over a ton here. Like these. Pick those up in a moment. I'm going to pick that one up because even if I cut it in two, it's still 404. I mean, I won't get it. Um, that one's fine. This one's 392. So this is a hard cut. I need to really try and get that to under 200 fine I did. That's 207 which is fine because I can just cut the end off of that. That's perfect. Alright let's uh, grab that one out. I can make a second pile. Just chuck it down there for now, it's fine. Alright that's enough to get me started. Try and toss the K but but uh, nope. That worked. That's like three six five. Yeah, we can do this one. Well. Okay, where was the other part of that? There it was there. Didn't quite get to throw that one far enough, but all good. I think these two, yeah, they'll do. You can use, uh, there are mods that can give you bigger claws and bigger arms that you can actually pick up more wood and things, but we're not going to download any of those just yet. 0.4 tons there, that's nice. There's another one there.
Okie dokie. Let's start picking these up. Just going to check the carpentry quickly. Yep, looks like there's a pallet there now, I saw that. Okay. Right, last one, and then we're going to pick them up with the JCB. Load up the trailer. And that's two trailers that we get to dump out today. This one, and then the flowers. So very quickly check on the... Uh, in fact, I can do it from this menu here. Let me check on the flowers. Just want to make sure they've got enough water. And they have. That's good. Now we can see everything here is all good. All right, perfect. Let's jump in the JCB. And let's start loading up. Side, it's fine. Nice. Alright, let's uh, see if we can get this done and the other trailer done before the end of the day. Still quite a bit of work to do, I appreciate that. But I've done a lot of prep work, so we should be okay. It doesn't matter how they go in, it doesn't have to be perfect, they're not going to go anywhere. I will keep practicing, I will get better at it and it will look better, but for now, I need to get them in, get it secured, get it sold. Focus on the big ones first because that makes a lot more sense. Some down there as well. So these ones should definitely sell for the most money. In terms of length of these, these are the 12 meters. So I think the 12 meters is a really good length. It kind of feels right. The hardest thing is finding the trees. Maybe if I can start planting my own trees, maybe I can choose. Yeah, mate, they're a good size length for this trailer, and uh, 
They sell for good money, so. Side. We'll get rid of these ones and we can clear this stumps out in this area. Ooh, start getting ready to put our new home down. Quite looking forward to getting a new, new house. Uh, did I just... Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I just hit the, over the other side of the trailer, which would have been hilarious. I'm bad, but I'm not that bad. Should be able to scoop these up together in one go, right? The dog's gone for a swim. That's fair enough. Is it a dog? I'm assuming it's the dog. It doesn't look like a deer. What I was trying to do here is push these in. Can't get under that one because of the tree stump. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Shouldn't have opened that up really. Oh well. I think I just messed it up by opening the claw, but. I could have sorted themselves out. You know what? That will do. Doesn't have to be perfect. They're in. Good enough for me. Right, let's uh, check. I think there's no more over here. That's good. I can grab these couple here. Well, this one just doesn't look big enough to pick up, but we'll grab it anyway. And I think I'll grab a couple more, and then that's the load done. Yeah, and then I can take this, sell it, and then come back, add some more flowers, and that should be enough. That should be enough to go and get the new plot of land that we want. I think what we'll do, we'll do the land first. Once we've bought the land, we need the lawnmower. We need a windmill. And I think they're things we want to purchase now. We don't want to keep uh, leasing them anymore. Okay. Somebody's struggling 
to get onto this one, let me try again. Alright, I think we'll do one more after this one, and then we'll take this. Hopefully we'll get about another 20 grand for it, that'll be nice. stumps out as well so we can do that as well really loving the JCV I mean I'm sure there's other vehicles out there and I will test them but for now this definitely does feel like a good setup Too long with that one. How long was that? Was that 22.3 meters? Oh, so we didn't even cut that. Let's uh, let's take this load. Just secure it down. We'll do the same thing. We'll go and sell it. Kind of need the money at the moment. I think once we sell this, we'll pick up the flowers. Sell the flowers tonight. That should be. That should be enough for the land. And we're going to buy this land over here. That open land. And the job is going to be to cut the grass. Pay all the grass. Because there's more money there when we do that. And then the job is to plow. So in order to plow... I need to consider when do we what do we want to put down well I think we're going to do canola which is in August so we've got until August we could do potatoes and then we could harvest them do potatoes harvest them and then do canola maybe then we need the equipment we haven't got the equipment for that at the moment we don't really have the money either We'll look into that. For now, the focus is definitely on getting the uh, expansion on the land and getting the grass cut because we know that. That's a game loop that we understand. So we'll get that maximised. And then from there, we can look at something new. Oh, 21,000. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Something you can do, by the way, if you want to make it better when you're doing the ratchets, is you can just jump in the cab and press L, and it will it will put them all down at once. Sometimes that is a better way to do it. I just forget sometimes. All good. Kind of wishing I had that 37 mile an hour tractor now. All progress. As long as we're making progress, that's all that counts. I'm going to need to get the pallet truck out. Or the forks, at least, on the other tractor. I don't know if it's going to... If the carpentry is going to fill up today. I'd like to think that we, we could sell a full load of carpentry.
I also wonder if we just sell them directly and that way we don't have to worry about that additional distribution of the loading up. Oh, we're going to put this right here, so it's in the middle of all of this. Alright, so that can stay there, we'll deal with that later. We need to just dump the trailer for now. Keep the dolly. And then also, let's move to the front and we can start to just get rid of some of these, uh, some of these stumps. In fact, not only can you get rid of some of these stumps, if you look at the, look at the state of some of these, we could actually just get rid of the entire tree, I think. Yeah, we can just get rid of the entire tree. That's going to chop it up for us. this one but I don't know if we're going to make it. I need to clear all of these out first but yeah, let's get around here. Okay, right, let's just get these over here. This is a really powerful tractor, so I actually can leave this down and just move and it will actually <laughs> do the job for me. Given the fact we're going to landscape all this later anyway, it doesn't really matter what we do here. Grab this one. And the same here with this one. I'm gonna catch a dolly, but that's okay. There's a tiny little one there, I didn't even see that. Okay, I think mean it's just these ones over here. Which actually there's quite a few of them. So I've got to go back and get that one again. landscape all of this so it will look nice when we're finished. I'm not too worried but we'll do this one. This one and we'll spin back around, grab those two. We're we'll back by the lake, grab that one on top of the hill and then we end up at the trailer and that should be us done. Oh I did get it this time okay. So I'm not going to get that one at the trailer over there, I'm going to get this one instead. I've just seen him. Nice. It was good. Alright, let's uh, check out the landscaping tool. Go into the grass. Now, it's 
So what we can also do here, by the way, is there are controls. So we can actually change the brush size if we want to make it bigger. So we can actually do this and it'll just make it a lot easier for us to do. So we don't have to spend that time doing the small bits. We could just do this. And you can also change the brush uh, shape. So we can change it from that to that. So if we wanted to, we could just do this. But we can only do the area which we actually own. We can't do the other area there. But this also does, yeah, take up a lot more of the uh, available funds. As you can see that six grand we've just spent doing that. So you need to be aware when you're doing it how much it's going to cost you. But yeah, there we go. I think we can do this bit as well. And then from here, No, that was uh, too far over. Oh, but we can fix that, it's fine. We just need to change to... Was it gravel dirt? No, it was not gravel dirt. It was gravel dark. There we go. So again, easier if we want to do roads in the future as well. We can just come along here and do this. Oh, I'm making sure we use the right one. Which in this case was asphalt. Nice. Kind of feels like we've got a good little process going on now. Happy with that. Right, I don't want to spend too much money. Just spent like nearly 10 grand <laughs> doing the landscaping there. That is now looking obviously much much better and you consider this rolling lands of green lush meadows and fields it's starting to look very nice all right let's uh turn this off let's jump in this all right now we can hook up to that Arctic unit there, so straighten ourselves up. In fact, that's what we'll do. We'll She thought I was on that, but apparently not. There it is. Okay, so we've got a few more flowers we can chuck in here. And then we're getting about 2,000 per flower, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 20 grand there. So I think when I'm looking at where to put the trailer, I should think a good place for the trailer to live is going to be under here because that means that I can get this one and that one quite simply I just need to go across the other one then
flower business in full bloom. So whilst I'm here, I think there's only going to be one pallet, and if there is, it's just not worth taking. Yeah. 1.1 tons. It's really slow. I, I don't know why. I just I thought it was going to be quicker than that. There's a lesson, making sure you secure your pallets. We're going to have to go and sell these. Again, the furniture, I think we'll just wait. We want to get a full load of the furniture. We don't just want to go and get one pallet. It's, it's not really worth it. So we'll just leave them. It'll, it'll make make the furniture in time. So we'll once it's ready, we'll grab it. But for the flowers, we'll just run these up and sell them so we do that we can also do that in fact we don't need to run up yet we can go up later I'm just thinking we're not going to be able to if we do go up now we're not going to be able to yeah we're not going to be able to buy anything are we got two four six eight ten so that's twenty it's like thirty thousand seventy two thousand that's still not even going to be enough for us to like even that's not going to be enough for us to go and get our uh, our land that we need so we'll, we'll just continue for now So you can stay there. Got water in here, so we'll just uh, refill this. And then I guess it's just right now more more logs, right? Picking up the logs. I mean, we could all this grass has grown, so we could we could do this. We want to get that field done though, that's that's really the focus, has to be on that field. Um, and in order for us to do that, I don't, I don't really want to just rent this, I'd rather buy it, but we don't really have the money for it. It's like 3,800 to lease. But with that we will be able to do that whole back field. No, we'll wait. We'll wait and we'll buy it. And then what we'll do is we'll just plow this entire space out the back here. But it's March, right? It is March. 
And that means grass is starting to grow. Yeah, no, we're going to... Okay. I want to buy it. We'll take the we'll take the trailer up now. We'll sell this and we'll see if we can buy. We'll see if we can buy the plow. Let's do that. We'll see if we've got the money for the plow. Very nice, it didn't actually uh didn't scuff up and create a field, that's nice. Right, so we'll run up, we'll sell this. And then we'll get that grass down. We'll get that grass down on the field out the back. For now. I think grass is definitely the best thing to do for now because it's every three months. I just want to automate it so we don't have to do it ourselves. So that means I need the AI for that. I guess also it, it depends right on the... It's an, oh, that's a big cultivator. Shallow cultivator. Okay. Hey, okay, we can look at that. I don't think we need it, but we can look at it. So now I think the challenge I have is making sure I can get this on here in one go. Perfect. Alright, so we're up to 81,000. We've almost got enough to buy a field. So we can just plough our existing field, I guess, or we could buy... An See, now I'm thinking again. Eighty-five thousand to buy a field, right? So, if we wanted to buy this plot of land, that's eighty-five thousand. We're almost there. If we did that, we're going to be able to. We're just going to have an incredible amount of grass. Hmm. So maybe 85 there, and then 62 there, and depending on which one we go for, if we do go for this one, that's another 150, but I think Honestly, I think we can get away with a 75. I don't think we need to spend the extra 2.3 meters. Don't get me wrong, it'd be nice. We'd have the full match in set. Hmm. Yeah, if we're going to do it, we should do it. But we could, we could lease that for now. Seven grand, but we could lease that. That's free grand, so um, I think what we do is we lease this once, one time. Lease this one one time, so we have these two. Cut all the grass, give this back, and eventually we'll buy this once we've got once we've got enough money. We buy the land, and then we mow it all ourselves, and we don't bother ploughing it right now. We save up for the plough, but this way we're going to get an, like we have so much more grass. We've already got the baler, so we don't need to buy that. Loader we can get later. So right now it's just the, the land, the lawnmower, and the windrower. That's what we need. 
So yeah, we're going to buy the land. That's what that's what we're going to do. That's the I think that's the most the most sensible play here in order to generate more profits. We need more land. And then there's already grass on it, so we can just mow the grass. So anything that's going to increase our grass cutting ability right now, we'll get that silage going. We really want to get some crops down though, we do want to start doing that. And they'll come, they'll come in time. So in order to get that, all I need to do is just a little bit more money, which I guess selling those selling those logs over there would help. I like what we've done so far, it's nice. These three little greenhouses have really been a absolute godsend for us. leave that there. I can stay there and it will do those two greenhouses, that's fine. To get the money, the quickest way we're going to do that while waiting for the flowers is going to be these logs. So let's just do it, let's just get them in. Stop for this nice big one right here. Stumps actually might not be a bad thing to have here. It might seem like they're in the way, but if they catch some of these uh, logs. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, well, I mean, it's in. <laughs> Pretty sure I've done some damage to the trailer there, so. Not ideal. that one is in the way but that's fine. I mean, I can't believe how big that tree stump actually is. I left half the tree in the ground.
Uh, let's just get this little one here out of the way as well. And we can move around a bit easier. And then just thinking about what we need to do next after this. Because I don't really want to rent anything today. I think we can go around and we can cut the trees in the new field once we buy it. So we can buy that new field today. And if we've got some more time, we could possibly go around and cut the trees so that they're ready and mulch them. So then we can just go and farm it without any problems. Ideally, what we really want to do is we really want to cut the grass today. So let's see if we've got enough to do that. We can sell these logs, make some decent money. It's getting on a bit in the day, so I might have wasted a bit too much time. I'm trying to figure out what to do. We can sell these logs, make the money, buy the land, get the lawnmower attachment, which we want to rent. And we can actually go and cut the grass, and then it will start growing back again. Don't even need to do anything else to it, just get it cut. I don't think we're going to have enough time to be able to do all that today though. I think we're going to struggle. So maybe tomorrow that's a better idea. And then at least this grass would have been grown a bit more as well. So we can cut our grass as well as that. Because our grass hasn't grown at all at the moment. These free to go. Then I think that'll be enough. We'll sell that. I mean, it'll be enough for the land anyway. We've also got some more flowers we can sell tonight. I think for the flowers, I just need to sell enough to be able to get the grass cut and get stuff going. I'm really keen to make an additional income source that's, that doesn't rely on the flowers. So we're not just selling flowers every day to make money. We've got something else we can focus on. These logs have been good. Right, they've made us a bit of money. We've made probably like 100 grand selling just the logs. Which is nice. This one's a huge one. Yeah, so we can make some uh, make some money through the logs, which is good. We know we can do that. We can make some money through the grass, which is good. But 
kind of want a production chain, and I'll be honest, I thought the carpentry would have been... I'm a, I'm a little bit... well, I'm very disappointed with it at the moment. It's just not pumping out quick enough, and it kind of feels wrong, like it should be pumping out quicker. Given how many cycles it does, and I look at how many cycles the flowers do... Yeah, I kind of expected more from that, I'll be honest. There's only one pallet over there. It has enough resources and it has everything it needs. So I guess my concern is if we look at the production queue, and we look at something like the flowers. The flowers does 144 cycles per month. Oh, but I suppose 100... Water does a hundred flowers, whereas here it only does seven. Ah, uh, so even though it does two hundred and forty cycles a month, it does more cycles, but it's only pumping out seven, whereas this is pumping out a hundred flowers, which makes me think that the flowers are broken. Maybe they should be, and, and I guess that's the thing you got to consider, right? If you download a mod or if you use a mod. It's not part of the official gameplay. Like, are the prices correct? The prices right? Because, like, you'd you'd expect giants to balance the game to make the prices, you know, make sense. Whereas mods would just they would just put whatever they think's right, and that doesn't necessarily make a good economy. So, okay. Whilst the flowers have been nice, maybe the flowers have been totally unrealistic and. shouldn't have been focusing on after all because they shouldn't have been in the game I mean it is it is a I guess a mod as such right it's part of the map but that doesn't mean it's good for the economy compared to everything else so that makes sense um, I think that's enough for now but I just want to check these out because this one is yeah, these are all, they're not even worth picking up, right? These are just all trash wood, which can come here. I kind of want to light a fire, I'm not going to lie. Get a little bonfire going there. Deal with all of that. Really? You will? You won't? Okay, fair enough. Chuck it down there, try it one more time. There we go. That got it. See, again with this one, it's hardly worth... Oh, my God. 214. 205? Oh. Really? You're gonna make me do this. You're gonna make me put these two in there like that. Okay. Alright, fine. And what's with what's all those little bits there? I, I guess I can load them up, right? They'll all go in. Definitely be able to pick up more than one uh, tiny bit at a time. We want to clear it up though, we want to make sure we get every bit. Let's make good firewood this wood. Hopefully, if we ratchet this, the game will recognise it and hold it in place. Okay, um, I think that's pretty much it for there, right? We got this, which is more trash wood. Oh my god, it's that noise again. Alright, there's our little wood pile. 1.2 tons there.
I don't know what we do with that wood pile, we'll figure that out later. We'll put nine tons there. Alright. I guess we take those last two with us. There's, two, there's one there and there's one there. And this one. Let's three put nine tons that one. I love the fact that by grabbing this, I can manipulate this. So we'll grab that one, grab this one. Is that under 200? Yes it is. What's this one? 245. Just chop the end off. 203. Oh, we'll chop that up as well. Nice. Quite a significant wood pile we'll be able to up here. And it's going to start getting dark soon. That's good. Let's use this to pick up these. I'm pretty sure I'll get this in. Alright, so there we go, they're all locked in now. Head off this way, and also, as we're going around, we can just uh, lower this. Did that get it? I did get it, nice. Gonna get that one with a trailer, but that's fine, I'll get this one instead. Then we'll head off for this one and we'll go to the others when we come back. Nice. That's fine. Are we a bit too heavy here? We're it looks like we're limited on speed. Maybe it's just because of the... Uh oh, we're okay. Might be a bit too heavy for us. Oh, we're good. It's a good load. Not, not much crap in here. This is going to be enough for us to buy that new land. So we'll do that. Just going to quickly check the shop because knowing me there'll be something to buy. No, nope, nothing we want. We're good. Just new land and then we can cut the grass. We should have left the mulcher behind, really, because the problem we're going to have now is towing this trailer back with the lawnmower. 
I guess we'll just have to think about how to do this. Ah, 27,000, not too bad. We do need to back out and get the rest of that wood though, which is uh, stuck in there. Oh my days, I am absolutely terrible at this. I really struggle with this four wheel steering. Oh, that's another 68 pound. Okay, so now we've got 108,000. That means we can press P. Come down to the farmland. Yeah, we can do it from here, can't we? Press X. And we're going to buy plot 25. This is what we're going to buy. 25. Alright. There we go. 85,000. Money well spent. And we have enough to get the lawnmower. Which is awesome because that's what we want to do right now. So we're going to have to leave the trailer up here. Um, actually, no. I think what I'll do is I'll leave leave that here. We will. What is the time? We can we can cut the grass. We've got enough time to cut the grass today. So we'll get the grass cut. That's done. So we're going to go to the lawn mowers and we're going to rent this one. We're just going to lease it. Yeah, it's 3,800, but that's fine. Okay. And we can take this. So let me do this. We're gonna... We're gonna just drop that for a second. It's gonna be a lot quicker to do this. We're gonna spin around here. We're gonna pick this up on the front like so, and then we're going to spin back around and pick up the trailer and take the trailer back. Perfect. Right, let's go get that grass cut before it gets too late. I normally like to lease in the morning, not at night. But it's uh, still quite light. We should be okay. Just want to get all the grass cut right now and then send the lease back and then tomorrow we should have enough money to buy the wind row wind rower and then we can sort all that grass out and we can bale it and that's it then we've got the wind row we've got the baler the only thing we need to buy then is the we're going to buy that top of the line grass cutter and then we've got the full grass cutting set it's all done so that feels like we've got progress because then whenever we buy fields we've got the grass it grows every three cycles which means we get at least three harvests a year out of the grass and the silage is, is good, goes for good money. We also need to buy the trailer but that's fine, we can do that. So we're going to need to leave the dolly behind as well with this. But we're not going to be taking the wood for a little while now so what we'll do is we'll leave the trailer here And we'll take the dolly with us. We're just going to park the trailer. We'll park the trailer up here by all this wood. Perfect. So that can kind of stay there. We're going to leave the trailer, take the dolly. We'll put the dolly on the other trailer because we'll be using that first. We also need to go and sort the water out because we know we're running out of water. dolly and the trailer and we're just going to sort the water out while we're here because uh, it's got water but it is going to be running out so we'll just do that and that 
And now we go and get the other lawnmower. So the trailer's there, that's ready to go. Oh, we didn't unload the trailer. One sec. We just want to be able to load the trailer, so we need to connect. And the only way we can open a site is to be connected. So we'll do that. So connect, and then it should be, I think it was Z. Perfect. And then we can disconnect. And we can dump that there. Go in here. Pick up that. Come back out and jump onto this. And go and cut the grass. Let's open this up. Same with the front. We can lower that. Turn it on. We can lower that. Okay. All right. That's us. Let's go cut some grass. And the beautiful thing is because this is a. Uh, decent tractor we should be able to do all of this with absolutely no problems whatsoever so let's just test it out we lose a little bit of speed on here but really not that much so now we're able to we're able to really utilize this landscape now so we'll just do this here there's a little bit of extra grass that we missed before we'll do that we'll spin it here key here, we really want to get over that backfield and get that sorted. We didn't get all of the trees cut that we wanted to do, but that's fine. We just want to cut as much grass as we can so it can regrow and go to sleep tonight. Because we've got the beta, we own it, we don't have to stress, there's no pressure about doing it quickly, we can just focus on this. We need to sort this land out, it's a little bit bumpy, we'll fix that later. I don't really want to spend the money on it right now. Awesome, just do this little bit here, make it nice and clean. Let's head over to our new field. Alright, so this is us. So what we're going to do, straight up to the top here, about where these trees are, spin it round and back again. Because of the length of this, it should be like a straight line.
I'm just kind of dodging these trees at the moment. Also, now that because we own this now, we can also do more stuff with this field we couldn't do before. Make it a bit dark now as well. I oh, we can sort these bushes out later. And we can sort all these little lone trees out. So what we'll do once we've got the mulch on the front, we'll come down here. And I don't even think with these little trees, I don't even think we're going to waste our time to chop them down with a chainsaw. We're just going to mulch them straight up. Yeah, loads and loads of grass here, and this is nice. And once we've done this now today, the grass tomorrow will start to grow back. So we can focus on getting this tomorrow. Our job tomorrow will be to get all of this bowed up. I'm going to spin this here just because I don't want to mess about with those trees right now. So much better lights now because of this uh, new tractor. Got the side lights that we were missing before. Nice. I think we're going to focus on animals after this. We'll get the grass cutting equipment. There's, a, there's still a few things we really want to get. We want to get the grass cutting equipment. We want to get the truck so that we can do the the arctic runs without the tractor because the truck's going to be a lot quicker we're also going to need to get a second tractor as well but not right now but that's something we need to focus on as well as a second tractor we need to get these fields ploughed there's a lot to do this year a lot to do. See if we can get all this done by August, and then that would have been one full year in the game. It'll be interesting to see the progress we would have made. Lots and lots of little tiny trees just uh, sitting in the way there. We also need to get a new trailer as well, that's something we need to think about, we sold our trailer. We will need to buy a new one, especially when we start to do the crop harvests. It's not really been important so far, but it will be. Alright, let's do a full length of this field and uh, just see what we're playing with here. It's going to be an amazing amount of grass. Think about these bowels that we make. 5,500 litres per bow. Silage sells for like 300 per thousand litres. So that's about 1,500 roughly per bale. That means that if we do a, a full load, which is 24 bales on a trailer, we're going to make somewhere around 40,000, roughly. Okay, I'm going to spin this here and just go back up this way. I know there's still a lot more space. There's also some trees there that we can get rid of open up that space a bit more. I'm just going to focus on going this way for now though because it's getting a bit late. And the key for tonight was really just to get as much of this done as possible and I'm not even halfway across the field yet. So I still think a couple more hours out here doing this. 
means it will be a late one tonight, but it will mean we've done the field, and, and that feels good. It also means that at the same time as this grass is going to regrow, that grass is also going to start to grow. Which means we're going to have another kind of two fields, well not two fields, but two plots of land to do the grass in three months time. And then, once we've done that, then I think we need to think about... Because this whole field here this whole field. I think we can level this field out. I think we can level this entire field out, straighten it all up, and I think we can turn this into a huge... I mean, we don't even need to level it. We can leave it as it is, but we can... We can definitely plough this entire square. Take down the trees. And then this is going to be a huge, huge field. The question is, what would we plant? We do cotton, if possible. We do canola because we know that sells well. Lots of choices. Lots of choices. Little by little, we're getting there. I think what we start to focus on now as well, because we've spent a lot of time kind of building as we go. And that's been fine, it's been great, but I think now we need to start thinking about just really getting that residual income in. So other areas we can think about are wind turbines, solar farms, and there's stuff we can do there. We could extend the flower business, but I don't know if we really want to do that. I think having two lots of that two lots of greenhouses is a bit too much. Because we've still got to manage it, right? Then we also need to think about, you know, we've got a sawmill, but that's not really doing much, so. Then we need to consider, well, what do we do? What do we do next in terms of production lines? And I'm thinking the next production line that we make should really be something regarding animals. We haven't done that yet. And I just... I don't want to build too many different production lines right now because... I want to think about the layout of the farm. Like how's the farm going to look? Where are we going to build? How are we going to build? We haven't really had the space to do anything with animals. Maybe we take the sawmill down, just get rid of it. A lot of things to consider. Overall right now though, this um, this is really, really nice. And we think about how quickly this is cutting the grass. We're really starting to make a good progress. tree there, we'll get rid of that one later. Only a few trees here, not that many, uh, although I think I'm going to mess up here. I'm gonna would that bend back if I was to... Oh, it would. Okay, cool. Wow, okay, so they actually snap back so you can actually just keep cutting. Nice, good to know. I don't even have to worry about the trees.
Uh, that's about halfway across the field now. We're just over. Okay, so there's a bit bit of snapback, but not too much. I'm going in a straight line. I know I'm going over a bit that I've already done. I'm just trying to stay in a straight line here, so it all makes it easy when I go back. Should not have to like bend and weave anymore. Should be able to go just in a straight line. This feels good. This feels good, and as I said, it would take a couple of hours. It's uh, I said that about six. It's now seven forty, so almost been a couple of hours extra. Almost finished this field. So now we can start thinking about buying the next field. And I think that's what we do at the moment. I think we just expand and expand. Maybe buy two more fields. The one over there is going to give us a lot more trees to cut down. But we might also want to start working a little bit more towards the main shop. And we're going to build our new shops as well. So we're going to have a... Now that we've got additional land, we can build a shop that we can have as a sell point. This would be a good idea to build a sell point, maybe for the flowers. Maybe we build a flower shop here. And then we don't need that run all the way back up to the top now. Because part of the rules of this map were that we were not allowed to build a sell point on our starting square. So maybe we can set up like a little flower shop that buys our flowers from us. Yeah, there's lots, lots we can do. I think if we do that, we'll do it behind where the rockery is. Yeah, that feels good. And the Arctic can take the flowers from the greenhouses behind the rockery there. It's not a long journey, but it's still a journey. And then that's the flower business finished. Once we get the truck. We do need to get the truck. I'm just thinking about what else we can do. Definitely need a new production line. Maybe we can look into biogas. Something else we can do. Maybe there's someone else that can buy this silage that's not the uh, shop at the top. Maybe we can do something there as well. So for every every plot of land we buy we can add a new selling point but the selling points can be in the same square but we can only place one for every plot of land we buy meaning that if I wanted to put two in one square I'd need to actually go and buy two plots of land then I can place two in one square and they can't be in the starting square so they're the kind of rules it just makes it a little bit you know otherwise we could just take a selling selling point and we could stick it right on top of the greenhouses 
So we can't have a selling point and a production in the same square. In fact, I think what would be good as a rule, maybe a new rule, is that there has to be one square between a production and a selling point. I, li I think I prefer that rule as a good rule. Because otherwise, I could just stick on the edge of 25 and the edge of 26 on that white line. I could just stick a selling point right next to. So yeah, that, that makes sense. If we're going to set these rules, a selling point must be at least one land plot away from the production. There must be a one plot gap. So if I wanted, so for example, the greenhouses right now are in plot 26. That means that the flower shop, if I did a selling point, would have to be in plot 24. I couldn't put it in, 20, in 25. Or it could be in like 23, for example, whatever. Yeah, that feels, that feels good. That feels like fair because then you're always going to have to travel to get to that location. Yeah, I like that. We're making it up as we go along, but we're trying to make it fair. We're trying to make it so it's realistic as possible and not, we're not cheesing it. Alright, nearly done. I reckon a couple more passes here and we'll be finished. Which is good because it's now just gone 8pm. We need to stop. We need to move all the flowers out as well before we head down for the night. We need to make sure that we fill up with water and do that as well. And then in the morning we load up that arctic. We sell all of those flowers. And that will buy us our windrower. And we'll buy it outright. Actually, do you know what? I think that's going to be it because of the trees and everything there. I don't really want to go and mess around around those trees. Now, let's just see how much more we would have. Wow, still loads there, look. Yeah, I just don't really want to mess about with those trees right now. I guess I can do this bit. There's still quite a lot here to do. But I'm not going to bother with that bottom bit anymore. We'll leave that. Definitely liking having the two on the back and the one on the front feels nice. I just wish we could connect the wind rail behind it. That would be that would be perfection if we could do that. There's a mod that allows us to do it. And I think when we start to play with mods, we'll look at that one because that would be like super useful. And realistic, I mean it's totally realistic that you can have that. You should be able to chain stuff together. Makes sense, like why wouldn't you, right? I don't think we put the baler on the back. I mean, that would be crazy. But to do this and then have the wind rower afterwards so it arranges it in one go, saves us that extra trip. Yeah, that feels... That feels like a great addition. Also, these look like different trees here. be wrong but they they look like different types of trees let me have a quick look they are still spruce trees are they all still spruce they are still all spruce so 35.8 meters okay i thought i thought maybe they were just different trees Possibly could be the last one now, I don't think we're going to get more here. A bit of land there as well, it's a bit hillier. 
some rockery there to play with. Nice, yeah, that feels good. I think we'll end that on this run. That's done. And then we'll send back the long mower. And, uh, expensive, but a good investment, I feel like. Perfect. Alright, let's send that back. it up and move a bit quicker. So in the morning we're going to need to take the Arctic up the top and bring the wing rod back so how many pallets? Still just one pallet. Wow. Still just one pallet. That kind of feels terrible. Right, well we're focusing on flowers. We'll just uh, move these out of the way for now. We're not going to load them up right now. We'll just move them out of the way. We've got space for more. Check our water out. Yep, we're good for water right now. Just clearing the space so they can work through the night. Jump in here. Fill up the water. Yes. Alright, the flower business is... Uh, while I'm waiting for the water, I'll just do this. I'll put a couple in. Perfect. How are we doing? 13, 13 and 13. Okay. Should be enough water now. All right, that's uh, that's pretty much us. Let's go feed the dog. I don't think we need a bigger water tank at the moment. I mean, we could we could get one, but we don't need one. It works fine. Let's go and uh, just shut the gates here if we can. Turn the lights off on this place. We can't. I don't know why it won't. Oh, it will. There you go. All right. Looking good. Sort the dog out. And uh, call it a night. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate you as always, and I will see you tomorrow in the next video.